Hello everyone and welcome back to another Price CP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our tutorial for today we're going to learn about client to server remote events in Roblox. Here in my workspace you can see I have a yellow ball. And what I want to do is I want to give the player, I want to give each player as they join the game a chance to change the color of this ball to a different color. To do that I'm going to go to my started GUI and I'm going to insert a local script. In my local script I have a two button notification. If you like more details on two button notifications you can refer to our prior lesson on two button notification. Basically here I have a notification with two buttons. The first button is red, the second button is blue. When a player click on one of these two buttons, it's going to trigger this function. And this function is going to change the color of the ball based on the response, either to red or blue. Let's play to test. So here's my yellow ball. And I'm waiting for the uh, notification. Here's the uh, notification color selection. Which color would you prefer? I'm going to select blue and you can see the color of the ball changed to blue but now if you go in up here and you click on instead of current client so this is what I'm seeing but if you click on that to current server you can see that the game ball has not been changed so the game ball is still yellow and if there are other players in the game they still see yellow they don't see a blue ball only I can see the blue ball. This here didn't really work exactly the way we want it. And the reason for that is because our, our script is a local script on the client side. And we're trying to change an object, a ball, that is on the server side, in the workspace. So when you want to change something on the opposite side, on the other side, then what you want to do is you want to use a remote event to do that. So today's tutorial we're going to use a client to server remote event to change the color of the ball. I'm going to go to the yellow ball and I'm going to create a script there and my remote event is going to trigger this script to change the color of the ball. So I'm going to move my logic here to change the color of the ball to my script on the server side. I'm going to cut this and I'll paste it inside the script inside the yellow ball that I've just created. I'll paste it here. Next thing we need to do is we need to create a remote event. So let's go to our replicate storage. We're going to add a remote event. This is the remote event I've just added. Now let's go back to the local side, to the local script. We're going to have to fire that remote event to the server side. So here we're going to declare our remote event game dot replicate storage dot remote event to fire to the server side we're gonna do colon fire server and we're gonna pass in the response now we're gonna go to the server side to catch this event, the remote event, that is being fired from the local side, from the client side. So I'm going to go to my script in my yellow ball here, and we're going to try and catch that event. To catch the event, we're going to say game dot replicate storage dot remote event dot on server event colon we're going to connect to a function and in our function we're going to do this let me just reformat this code remember that when we fire the remote event we're passing in one parameter the response 
it's either red or blue. But on the server side, there's going to be two parameters coming in because the first parameter is automatic and it's always going to be the player who fire this remote event. So the player is automatically passed in as the first parameter always and anything after that, any other parameters here, it's going to come after the player. So we're going to have the response here. Let's give it a test. And here's the notification. I'm going to select blue. You can see the ball has been changed to blue. And let's take a look at the uh, server side. And the ball is blue on the server side as well. So if there are other players in the game, we're all going to see a blue ball. Switch back to client side, blue, server side, blue. The ball is blue. Let's do one more test to make sure. This time I'm going to test with two players. This time I'm going to select red. And you can see the ball has been changed to red in both player screen. On the first player here, that is the player that has selected the, the ball to be red. And on the other screen it's also red. If you go to the server, it's also red. So the game ball is red. Everyone, that's how we do a client to server remote event in Roblox. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again soon.